Hi guys. As I am preparing for a corporate group for mindfulness intelligence, there was something that really struck a chord that I felt the need to share right away. Because today, in this corporate training for mindfulness intelligence, we are looking at making waves. So we're gonna be looking at emotional frequency waves, we're gonna be looking at brave wave, brain waves, and we're also gonna be looking at the waves, global energetic waves that come from something called spiral dynamics, and that is how values have organized over time in society. So all of these things are super important to know as great leaders, not only holding the past, but really holding a vision for the future and leading the teams there. But here's what I really wanted to point out today. We are living in a Zoom or Skype or somehow WebEx, whatever platform we use, we, we are spending so much time together online what I've noticed in my life is that we go from meeting to meeting to meeting to meeting. And it's even worse than when we met. Remember the time when we were social <laughs> and we actually met in person? What we do now is that we, we schedule back-to-back -back meetings because we don't have to transport ourselves from one place to another, right? The problem with that is that we don't have any time to reflect on what we just did in the previous meeting. And the reason that's important is that for the most part when we have an awake and alive type life, we are in the brainwave of beta. A lot of us are in high beta, which is stressful, but that's for another time. We're in beta mode, we are active, we are awake. The problem with beta brainwaves is that we can't learn. Learning actually comes from a different frequency of brainwave, which is an alpha, it's called an alpha brainwave. It's a lower brainwave and it's a reflective, almost meditative type brainwave where we're not just focused on the outer world the whole time. But that's actually where we learn, is in the alpha brainwave mode. If we don't give ourselves the time to reflect, what happens is that a lot of these meetings are for naught. Because not only do we not learn, we can't even digest what has been said. So we're not at our best when it comes to strategic input from the meeting or even analyzing the meeting as it were and knowing, well, what do we even do with this time that we've just spent together and how is this valuable? So I would urge you to get some reflective time between your meetings and like into buckets. You know, if you're in one meeting and you fill up your bucket and then you go to the next meeting and you fill up with the, into the same bucket, it's going to run over, right? This is not what we want because we're not retaining any of the knowledge, the inspiration, the thoughts we were having, the strategic inspiration that came up with us. None of that is retained because we just keep pouring in the same bucket. If you reflect, if you do indeed go into alpha brainwave mode or even deeper into theta, what happens is that you can, it, it's going with this analogy of the buckets is like you're giving yourself time to go from this short-term bucket and you just pour it over into the long-term bucket. So that would be my big urge today as I'm preparing for this corporate group for mindfulness intelligence. Book some spacing between your meetings. And if you're interested in really becoming a master at surfing the waves. You know, John Kabat-Zinn said that um, we can't stop the wave, but we can learn how to surf, right? And uh, that's really what we're doing in Mindfulness Intelligence. Uh, just hit me up with a PM or something if you're interested in knowing more, how you and your teams can really operate on a much, much, much better and higher level. And you won't be wasting time. Everybody thinks that learning new things will take a lot more time. 
it's the opposite happens when you become a master of your mind and a master of your energy. We need more energy management and less time management. So that's it for today. See you around. Bye.